Hey, welcome to Organized Clutterbug, where I'm going to show you how to go from chaos to clean without spending a lot of money or a lot of time. I'm formerly Malato79, but this is my new channel, so come subscribe. I'll quickly show you a couple of my favorite quick tips, and every Tuesday and Thursday I'll upload new ones, so make sure you stay tuned. Getting ready in the morning used to be a disaster until I started using this tray system for my makeup. I used to use a traditional makeup bag, but I'm loving, loving, loving this tray system because again, you can just take it up and put it away when you're done and bring it out and everything's at your fingertips. So I have my brushes, my tools, and I've just divided them into, you know, face, lips, and eyes. Um, if you're a huge makeup buff and you have a ton of makeup, this won't work for you. But if you're like me and you're really just using basically the same things every morning, I promise you, if you switch to a tray system, you will thank me. Let's just talk for one minute about fridge label love. I know this seems a little neurotic, but I love labeling um, in the fridge. And I've just laminated these. You can find laminating sheets at the dollar store if you don't want to buy a laminator, or packing tape works awesome. So contain your condiments. And the reason I label them is so my husband actually knows to put it back in the right spot. So I'm not like, where's the ketchup? But I love, love, love new fridges. All of these trays actually lift out, which a lot of people didn't know. So you can lift this out and take it to your table. If you're having a barbecue, you can take it outside. If you're having a salad, you can lift it off and take all the salad dressings to the table. Sauces, syrups, it all works the same way. It saves you a ton, ton, ton of time and you'll always know where your ketchup is. This is my son's nursery closet and I cannot say enough about the open bin system in closets, especially for kids. You just literally toss the stuff back in when you're done with it and it saves you so, so, so much time. These bins are from the dollar store. All these bins are from the dollar store. Um, so you don't need to spend a lot of money to have a really functional and beautiful closet. Let's talk about labels for just a second. Labels are the key to keeping a space organized because you may know where things go, but other family members or guests might not. So when they go to put something back, if they're not exactly sure where it goes, they're just gonna set it on the shelf. I have a great tutorial on how to make these beautiful labels using Microsoft Excel. It's really easy. I'm computer illiterate, yet I could do it no problem. And you can too. Don't forget to roll your towels. Rolling towels will save you half the space of traditionally folding. If you're like me and you have an older kitchen and mine was built before me, so it's 35 years old, Instead of buying expensive pull-outs to get to the things behind in these small cupboards, use an old baking pan. I just have an old baking sheet here I covered with contact paper. This one was going to go in the garbage anyways. It was pretty worn out. But that way you can get to the stuff behind, like the blender, without having to take all your small appliances out. This works great for so many things. And again, it's a free tip. If you don't have your Tupperware containers in a container, trust me, you're going to want to. It makes everything from making lunches to putting away leftovers and emptying the dishwasher so much easier when you can just grab the container from under your cupboard or up in your cupboard and put it on the counter in your workspace. So subscribe to my channel for new organizing tips every week and make sure to check out my blog at www.clutterbug.me for my written blog as well, as well as a ton of free printables.